the sun is nearly gone the lights are coming on a silver shine that stretches to the sea we stumbled on a view that's tailor made for two for two Oh, I was still in lockdown. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Movies and Milk 30 Day Film Challenge where today myself and Michael will be discussing our favourite dance slash musical numbers from films. These don't necessarily have to be our favourite musicals of all time but instead features a dance number or a musical number that we fully appreciate. And although I could have went with some of the more obvious choices The Wizard of Oz, La La Land, West Side Story, Mary Poppins, all the classics under the sun, once again I've decided to go with a film that I feel is a very underappreciated film. The film that I'm going to be discussing today they just so happens to be one of my favourite films of all time and I just find this scene truly endearing. I'm talking about Derek Sionfronti's 2010 masterpiece Blue Valentine. Blue Valentine abides a non-linear narrative which dips in and out of the lives of Dean and Cindy at the beginnings of their relationships and their advancements in marriage. The film stars Ryan Gosling and Michelle Williams as the characters of Dean and Cindy and this to me is one of the best on-screen chemistries that I have ever seen put to film. Taking a fuller look behind the scenes it is revealed that Ryan Gosling and Michelle Williams had actually stayed together for a number of months to fully prepare for their performances for the film and that's very much dedication. Michelle Williams would later go on to reveal that she took the part of Cindy in Blue Valentine as the role harboured the difficulties of being a single mother following the death of Heath Ledger, to whom she was partners with at the time of his death. And so naturally you can understand William's decision to take on the role of Cindy in this film. Now with all of that information pushed aside, let's get down to the dance sequence in question. Quite early on into the film when the couple are establishing their relationship, it is also established that the song You and Me by the band Penny and the Quarters is their song as a couple, and it is clearly evident that it is a a very integral part of their relationship. And so towards the latter half of the film, Cindy is slowly but surely falling out of love for Dean and in his last attempts to sort of salvage this relationship, to rekindle this relationship even, he slips on You and Me by Penny and the Quarters and the couple share a very intimate dance together. <laughs> It is such a lovely scene and it makes me cry every time, knowing what indefinitely happens at the end of the film. When we reminisce in this scene retrospectively, we can understand a greater sense of Dean's desperation to salvage this marriage. And within this dance number, although Cindy is harbouring these very differing thoughts, we the viewers are observing the end of this couple's marriage. And it is just so incredibly bittersweet. Blue Valentine has been regarded as one of the most depressing films of all time, and it absolutely is. So please do not revert to this film if you're feeling particularly down one day, it is definitely not going to help you. It's just one of those films that allows an individual to reflect on previous situations in their own life. To me, this is a great unobtrusive example of a dance scene that can harbour so many emotions and trigger so many past life experiences that to me this is one of the most effective dance numbers of all time that I've ever seen anyway. With that aside, I do highly implore that you seek out Blue Valentine. It is one of the most underrated, underappreciated films that I've ever seen and it definitely definitely deserves some more love. Ryan Gosling is absolutely fantastic in this film, probably one of his best performances, if not his best. And Michelle Williams, who was nominated for Best Actress for this film, with that fact alone there's no question that she is also very brilliant in this film. So I'm going to pass you back into the very capable hands of Mr Michael McGorry. Now unfortunately I don't have any milk in the house, I do need to go to the shop after this review has been shot. So Michael, please have a glass for me. Thank you very much, Matthew. Again, as I stated in a previous video, I lack any musical capabilities. However, putting that fact aside, I absolutely adore a good musical. And even then, I'm quite a big fan of bad musicals. Again, Cats. I loved Cats, if you didn't know that. If you didn't know that, then you haven't checked out Day 9. I, I highly suggest you do that one. That one's a pretty good one there. So picking my favourite musical number was... Pardon me. ...was one of the hardest decisions to make. But ultimately, it came down to me picking what is perhaps my favourite scene in film history. The film in question is 1961's West Side Story. And the musical number that I have chosen comes in at my least favourite point of any musical. And that is what's known as the second act low point. 
It's when the characters are at their lowest point. They, they can't, they could not possibly get any lower. And as such, when this plot point appears in any musical, that tends to be the musical number that I like to skip past. Most of the time it's just, why did he have to leave me? Why was he such a dick? And yes, this film does have a musical number like that entitled Somewhere. But then following that musical number, we get this. Turn off the juice bar. This explosive dance number is entitled Cool. And in this musical number, the gang called the Jets have just lost Riff, who was their leader. And to ensure that the gang doesn't absolutely lose their shit, the character of Ice, played by Tucker Smith, asks them all to just stay cool, keep calm, plan ahead. And what we get is just one of the most bombastic musical numbers ever captured on film. The gang try oh so hard to do what Ice is telling them to do, but some of them just can't take it and they just start spazzing out. The tone of the scene is very dark, it's very gritty, and that is all amplified through how this scene is lit. The scene takes place in a parking lot and as such the scene is more or less naturally lit with car headlights and street lights and the camera work as well, this scene has one of the best tracking shots in film. This shot is one of the few out there that makes me as an audience member feel as though I am being chased. That and I just love how this song is paced. It starts off as the title suggests, very cool, very smooth, it's, it's a lot of clicking, they're all just sort of snapping away. But as the gang begin to lose their cool, so does the song. It just suddenly becomes loud and aggressive, there's a lot of trumpets. So if I was forced to only watch one scene for the rest of my life, while that would be a very, very hard decision, this musical number would definitely be near the top of the list. I mean, I just find this musical number outstanding. I mean, how these guys were able to kick like that and not end up hitting each other in the face, it's just, it blows me away every single time I watch it. So thank you very much for watching ladies and gents. If you enjoyed please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and tell us in the comment section down below what is your favourite musical number. And also why not give us a little follow over on our Instagram page. I mean it won't bite you. Until next time stay safe, don't do anything stupid and we will see you tomorrow, tomorrow.